Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I will have another episode of Google Docs Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to use Google Docs offline. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in tutorial videos, there will be links in the dis description box below. So Google Docs let you allow to use uh, offline and you have to do a few things to use this feature and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use Google Docs offline on your computer or laptop or on your smartphone or tablet. So the first thing on your computer uh, if you'd like to start using Google Docs offline so you have to go to Google Docs main page or home page and you can do that by doing Google Docs search and if you hit enter then you can click on the Google Docs match which is going to be docs.google.com so this will take you to Google Docs main page and here it's going to show you recent documents and it's going to show you like you know more if you have more they're going to be stacked under each other so in order to uh, use the Google Docs offline feature you have to use a Chrome uh, based browser so for example uh, Right now I'm using uh, Edge browser and it works because uh, the engine is based on Chrome. So if you go to the lower left corner uh, right here, so you're going to see main menu, click on it and then you're going to go to settings. And if you go to settings, then there's going to be an option offline. And you can see here it says that uh, create, open and edit your recent Google Docs files on this device while offline. So you have to check this on. So if you just sl slide it to the right, then click OK. So right now you're set to use Google Docs offline and it's going to take your recent documents offline and you can edit them. And what it does that, you know, it saves uh, those documents on your computer and whenever you're online again, it just backs up to the Google server right away. So in order to make uh, an individual document offline, uh, what you have to do uh, from your screen, you can click on the three dots which appears on the lower right corner. So if you click on it, and you're going to see that there's an option here available offline, and you have to slide it to the right. And you can see that uh, there is a check mark right now, but if you look at these docs, uh, they don't have this check mark. So it means that you know this doc is currently available offline. So if you're working on a document and you'd like to make that offline, uh, then you can do that uh, by going to the file. And then there's going to be an option make available offline. So if you click on it and you can see that you'll get this, this message that document is available now offline. So what it does that it makes that document available offline. And now you can see that this document has the check mark which uh, tells that this is available offline. So just a um, note that when you're offline uh, or when you're go using Google Doc Docs offline, you don't have the option to you know share live online. So what it means that if you're working on a project or doc with uh, other members, then it's not going to show you what changes are being made or editing are being made by the other members and also it does not allow you to uh, use the dictionary or spell checking and also it does not allow you to you know insert uh, pictures or anything from the web which you'd require online connection so that's how you can use google docs offline on your computer on your laptop now i'm going to show you how you can use this feature on your smartphone or tablet to use google docs offline on your smart or cell phone you have to install first Google Docs on your phone. Uh, if you do not have that already, you can do so by going to your App Store or Play Store. So for example, I have an Android phone. So if you go to the Play Store, then all you have to do is search for Google Docs and it's going to give you the Google Docs. So if you have already installed it, then it's just, uh, it will tell you that to open it. If you don't, then you have to just go through the installation process. So let's open it. And here it's going to show you uh, the documents you have uh, and uh, the first thing you have to do you have to go to settings uh, which is going to be on the lower 
left corner so if you click on it and then you're going to settings which is right here and then you'll see an option here which states that make your files available offline so right here offline so you have to uh, check this uh, option you have to sl slide it to the right uh, the reason mine is uh, showing already checked because I did that before so once you do that what happens here that you know it's going to show you recent documents offline and in order to uh, make any individual or any documents offline which is not offline yet so you have to do uh, click on the three dots which is right here and then you're going to see that make available offline here is an option so if you just click on it and then you can see that you know file will be made available offline that message and then here you're going to see a tiny check mark on the lower uh, right corner of the dock so that means that this dock is available offline so that's how you can you know make uh, docs available offline and if you are working on an individual dock which is not offline yet then you can do so uh, just by going to the upper right corner and then here you're going to see the available offline option and if it's not you know checked you can just slide it to the right and that will make your docs available offline so that's how you make google docs offline both on your laptop or computer or on your mobile or cell phone or smartphone or tablet and uh, it's very simple and easy to do and you can you know you don't have to be connected to online to work on your google docs and once uh, you're working offline so what happens when you are online next time then it's going to just you know sync it to the server or google server and then it will save your offline activities just on your local device and then whenever you're online it will just you know uh, sync to the google and your other devices so thank you for watching this video there'll be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you more.